Hi everybody, welcome back! San Francisco! Oh my god, look at this! Rubber bank! It's the biggest! It's the biggest building I've ever seen in my entire life! Great! We're doing really well! Uh, we got the, uh, stuff that we need for the Space Center, which is 4% research. We got a little bit of work to do to get that up. Uh, I did not mean to click on all those people and follow them. Uh, what I want to do is go into Cheetah Speed. My god, it's my my new favorite pastime. Okay, we've got a little bit of work to do in San Francisco. We've got some work to do in Sipsville as well. And uh, we got a couple of things that we can do in Sip City as well. So, while we're in San Francisco, let's do a couple of things here. We want to uh, let the density increase also as time passes while we're doing other stuff. We want the research to increase on this as well. I don't think there's anyone in class at the moment because it's like four, nearly five o'clock in the morning, and uh, and most people tend to actually go to school uh, during uh, sort sort of normal daytime hours, unless they're vampires attending class like in the middle of the night because obviously their skin will start bubbling and burning during the day. Fine, uh, I think the percentage will increase as people turn up to school and go to school, uh, which is great, fine. Uh, what can we do? What do we need to do? Uh, a lot of people are saying to sort out uh, Little Beverly Hills because it's kind of crappy. Uh, they're probably right. It is fairly crappy. We can maybe uh, sort out this area here too because actually this entire area by City Hall is not the best. We can make like maybe something nice in this area, put like some sort of landmark, get some tourists. Look at all the traffic. Traffic is just piling up everywhere. Look at all the goddamn traffic trying to go to the train station. Where are these people even going? Who knows? Maybe to Sipsville, maybe to Sip City. There's all sorts of different places they can go. Doesn't look like anyone is using the highway anymore. Instead, they're all using the passenger train station. And there's a just, just this gigantic lineup to get into it, which is not the best. We can try to sort that out. Uh, in the first instance, how we do that, I have no idea. I don't even think I connect. I can connect these roads up here. I think I tried last time. Hello? No? Possibly? Maybe? No? Maybe if we do like some sort of zigzag or, or something? No? Uh, phew, I did not want to do that actually. Um, God, I don't even know what to do with this. Look at the traffic is very, very bad uh, though. And if there was some way that we can maybe get people down the avenue instead or indeed actually just make an avenue here and have it like jut off. <sighs> that might be... A solution. We may lose some houses in the process. We'll lose like all of these houses, but I mean this needs to be sorted out because it's causing huge traffic problems. Fine, let's do it. Let's let's be a little bit careless and uh, and get rid of these roads. We're gonna sort out this whole area and this stupid train station once and for all. Fine, you big bastard. Let's uh, let's get a another avenue then a uh, high density ooh streetcar avenue uh, maybe just a, a high density avenue would be fine in fact actually we could probably use streetcars in this city as well so we might as well just go for high density streetcar avenue upgrade the rest of the avenues and get some streetcars going uh, because there's only buses and the train uh, in this in this city right now and if they could use streetcars to get to the train station uh, for instance that would probably help okay fine uh, we don't want it straight we want it to uh, arc mm, a nice arc oh look at this this might do it actually we might be able to do it this way if we have this road like come like this uh, and then connect up to oh Okay, let's try this. This might actually work. Uh, I hope it works anyway. Fine. Uh, we're going to rip this road down uh, along with everything else here. There's that big field that everybody was smoking crack in and throwing their kids against trees uh, in and stuff uh, for fun. Pinecone burgers, etc. is going to go. But we could build another one. It'll be fine. We're going to have all this space. Look at this. Medium field with parking. I'll do it. It's a very sad day. Uh, I'm sure people re will recover though, it's fine. Look at all these people are stranded now. There we go, look at that. <laughs> Off they go. Hopefully that will uh, sort out the traffic. That would be very nice if it did. Uh, Jesus Christ, look at how fast it's going. Well, this isn't too bad. I mean, they're sort of filtering off this one road and going straight down. I don't think that's going to cause too many problems. It doesn't look like traffic is backing up as much. Once they get onto the avenue, the avenue's got the capacity, uh, so that should be fine. Great, okay. Uh, we got this whole open area here that we could potentially do something with. Um, what is this? Uh, this is all... 
Uh, low wealth. Okay, fine. Let's get a, uh, let's get another one of those parks in for these people. Uh, well, we destroyed a medium field with parking, so maybe we should make a large field with parking to make up for the fact that we did that. Can we just about fit one, like, here? That might do it. There we go. Let's put it right here. Oh, look at how happy these people are. Holy shit. Everybody loves a large field with parking, which is right now closed for the day. And right across the street, there's a rides playground. God, fantastic. They're gonna love that. Uh, where's the shopping in this town? There's none. Go to the park. Uh, you can do your shopping in the park, uh, much like everybody else. Uh, we could get some, um, commercial. Do we need commercial? Yes! We need a lot of low-wealth commercial. Fine. We could put some low-wealth commercial. Uh, not here. What the hell is that doing there? We could maybe put some down, uh, along here. That might be nice. What? The whole stretch. Oh, let's do it. Gonna have all sorts of donut stores and gas stations and stuff. That's gonna be great. Even though I don't think we can, I still don't think we can connect this up. No, we can't. God, that's such a shame. Look at that. It's so close. It would be perfect if we could connect it, but we can't. Look. Oh, it almost let me there. I don't know how. Oh no. Okay, it's because I was. <laughs> it's because I wasn't clicking on it. Uh, we could do this though. Look at this. Oh, wouldn't that look spectacular? Just like a big red circle. Blah. No? Okay, fine. We'll leave that. Uh, fine. It's just not going to connect because of the placement of the train station. Uh, I mean, it might just be because this is in the way. And actually, maybe if I... I could maybe make this like a... That doesn't need to be there like that. They can go down the other side and possibly... We'll tear down this house. Oh no, I don't want to tear down that house. Well, why is that road considered part of it? I don't get it. Can we do... Uh, no, it wants to tear down... Okay, fine. We'll, we'll leave that. See if we can connect it now that that avenue's gone. That This might work now. No, too close to an existing intersection. Where is this intersection that it's talking about? Who knows? No, nobody knows. I think it's because of, like, this, maybe. I don't think that this road is actually used by the train station, but because it's so close to it, we can't knock it down. God damn it. Okay, fine. That's okay. Uh, I think that's sorted out uh, the traffic problems in, in either case. Let's see how we're doing for bus stops. Uh, oh, we could really use a bus stop down here by the train station, actually. I didn't realize that we didn't have one. That might actually help. Uh, is anyone else missing bus stops? Uh, yeah, we could possibly do with a bus stop here uh, and here. Even though the coverage is good, we still want stops so that these people don't have to travel too far by foot to catch the bus. Okay, uh, how are we doing then? It's, uh, it's like just past 7 o'clock in the morning. Still a bit of congestion, but it's no way as bad as it was. Look at all these people cramming into here. Over 2,000 people riding on the train today, uh, and more. Look at them all trying to flood in here. Holy shit, I don't know where they're all parking. It looks like there's only, like, space for, like, maybe, what, 20 cars there? But there's, like, a billion, uh, just piling into the old train station. Can we actually do anything else with the train station? No. Just the sign. Okay, that's fine. That'll be fine. Oh shit, look at this. Steady stream of shoppers from Sip City driving to local shops. Okay, great. Well, now traffic is at like a total standstill for some reason. Um, I guess it's because people are trying to come out of the train station now. And these people have just decided that it's too late. They spent all day stuck in traffic trying to get to the train station. But now it's time to head home. Uh, so they're just uh, illegally U-turning here. We have no cops uh, in this city to prevent them from doing those illegal u-turns i don't think anyway how many cops do we have oh yeah we expanded it last time we have a couple more patrol cars okay fine great how are we doing percentage wise over here 10 percent oh not bad okay great um what about a ferry terminal oh, we have 667 bucks an hour coming in uh and we're hovering very close to half a million in the coffers uh, which is very good look density is definitely on the rise around here Apparently we need some workers. Uh, what kind of workers do we need? What are we missing here? We're missing high wealth residential. There's a big demand for high wealth residential. Uh, we should be providing a lot of low wealth workers from all the stuff that we did in Sip City last time. Remember when I tore down that whole neighborhood and, and improved it slightly? Uh, so we may be able to actually transform some of the low wealth neighborhoods in this city into, uh, into high wealth. That would be quite nice, wouldn't it? No? Anyone? Just me? Uh, the malaria? The malaria? It's closed. It needs workers. Uh, my god. What kind of workers does it need? Uh, we'll never know. What kind of workers would work at the malaria? It's a, uh, it's, it's, it's a high wealth place, uh, but it possibly needs, what, medium wealth or low wealth workers? I can't imagine that, like... 
Uh, Philip Banks would be working there, for instance, because uh, he's like super ultra rich. And, uh, and, and would have no need to actually work at the uh, malaria because he's too busy judging court cases because he is famously uh, a fantastic judge. Okay, uh, let's get some more high wealth then. Uh, at least we, we need shoppers at the very least, uh, I guess, for, for most of these uh, fine establishments. Look at these guys. The DeMarlos are making lots of profits. Meanwhile, 6M Fine Art Gallery is closed because it needs workers. God damn it. We'll, we'll never know. Well, I suppose we could find out by just saying, uh, finding out what kind of workers we need here, maybe? Will this tell us? Low wealth workers. Uh, we have... Unemployment for low wealth workers, 277. Medium wealth, oh my god, look at all the unemployed medium wealth we have. Uh, total medium wealth jobs, we have 1,175 and lots of unemployment. And uh, we have 368 open high wealth jobs, uh, total jobs, but we only have 28 high wealth workers. So, to me, that says that these high wealth places are looking for high wealth workers. So we need more high wealth people. Uh, don't don't ask me why that's the case. It just is. Uh, so I'm going to do it. It'll at least give us a bit of a boost to the old budget, and then we can get some more mass transit in the city. And all the while researching towards uh, getting our... What the hell, Deontay Morfit? I didn't want to follow you. I still don't want to follow you. I wanted to click on this to see 12% research towards our space center great work goal. God damn it, Jesus. All right, let's uh, take a look at the uh, land value around here. Whoa, yeah, look at that. Okay, so we got all this uh, low wealth over here. Uh, we got this passenger train station, which most of these people will probably be using. High wealth, uh, of course, do not need to use mass transit or anything. They just drive around in their big, uh, fancy, like, SUVs and, um, and their Lamborghinis and stuff like that. Uh, this uh, area here is sort of uh, bordering on medium wealth anyway. There's some, there's some sort of spill through here. Oh, my God. Look, the people in Robobank are so fucking happy. They can't even stop. Look at this in the Bagley building, too. We're making a lot of profit. Oh, my God. So is Robobank. Okay, great. Fine. We can improve this area then. Uh, we've got the university, which is also a positive influencer on land value, uh, which is good. So actually, this could be a good candidate as well. But let's just go for this area in the middle here. There's a lot of uh, low-income uh, workers uh, living here, uh, of which a lot of them are somewhat unemployed, I guess. So maybe boosting them up to high wealth will uh, give us the workers that we need to sort of make uh, some money at some of these places and turn these into like massive high rises. That would be fucking fantastic. Okay, great. Uh, parks then. We want uh, formal parks. We, let's just get like one big whopping amphitheater like right in the middle here. Is that going to be very good uh, for the surrounding area? I bet you it will be actually. Look at this. Amphitheater. Raises high wealth land value. 192 visitors per day. 4,800 bucks and 480 an hour. Uh, but it's got to be worth it, right? Because there's some highfalutin smarty types gathered here to watch plays and such. Yeah, that sounds good to me. Uh, on this road, all these people can uh, can enjoy uh, coming to this uh, amphitheater and watching plays and such, like in the open air and everything, and they're just going to be so fucking happy. Holy shit. We could probably destroy these small fields now. They're not needed here anymore. Look at this. Yeah, I'll do it. And... I'll do it. Oh, look at all these people are very angry now because those small fields uh, were were vital to their success as people. Uh, not to worry though, the amphitheater should be. Uh, I wonder how this has done it. And well, it hasn't really actually. Look, if anything, there's only a little bit of medium wealth that's crept out here. So maybe we actually need to expand this slightly. Like maybe have some fenced fountain plazas like flanking either side. That'd be nice, actually. I think that's nice. Here we go. 60 bucks an hour. No problem. We got this. Oh, look at that already. Wow. Oh, look at the area. The surrounding area has really uh, whew, taken taken a huge hit from that. Wow. They really enjoy that. Okay. Uh, maybe flanking the bottom part. Too. Oh, shit. This is going to be great. Oh, my God. This is going to be so utterly fantastic. Holy crap on my face look at this area holy shit wow okay perfect okay that's great we're gonna have a whole bunch of 
uh, Dr. Phil's and Uncle Phil's and, and those type of people moving into this area now. Uh, they can't even uh, contain their excitement. Look at that. We've dropped into the hole slightly. Uh, we can probably get some more residences set up in the place of those small parks now. Uh, it cost a lot to do this, uh, but it was well worth it. Look at that. The expenses are 720 an hour on this park, but wow, it's, I mean, it's so good. Uh, actually, that's probably the best park I've ever placed uh, in my entire time playing this game. Look at how effective that was. Holy shit, we're already getting uh, some apartment buildings here. Look at this. We've got some condos. Vacant residence for sale, for sale. We're going to get all sorts of high wealth uh, bastards into the city. It's going to be great. How many people are visiting the library? 112 a day. Wow, it's quite a few people visiting the old library. Uh, that's abandoned? Jesus. We've got an abandoned building uh, on the waterfront. And this one too, my god. Because they're out of money. They ran out of money. Can you believe it? I don't understand how that even happened. Okay, fine. We're back up into the green. 158 bucks an hour in the green. Of course, we're playing on cheetah mode. That's why everything's going so fast. And the reason we're doing that is because we want this to get researched as fast as we can. Um, I can do it off camera, but I'd rather not because there's always stuff to sort out in San Francisco anyway. So I figure if I'm sorting that stuff out while the research is accumulating in the background, it's probably not a bad thing. Um... Do we want any houses down here alongside the hospital? How's the hospital doing? Oh shit, that reminds me actually. We have a clinic that we no longer need. It's this one here. Great. Okay, Pencil Dick, do your worst. It's closed down. It's closed down by Pencil Dick, not the mayor. Ignore that. It, it was Pencil Dick. He is the closer. He does all the closing around here. Great. Uh, and, uh, and of course, Paint Sniffer uh, just sniffs a bunch of paint, hops into his bulldozer, and bam! Just crashes into everything. In this case, the uh, health clinic that's no longer needed. Good job, guys. My, my city council is just absolutely phenomenal. Holy shit. Um, great. Okay, well, that's helped us uh, with our money per hour, a clinic that was no longer needed because the hospital has more than enough capacity to treat patients. We also have the wellness van going around, visiting people and helping them uh, stay, get and stay well. It's got to be said. Uh, looks like we lost uh, the disco church as well. Look, it's now trans security, uh, which is making a lot of profit, uh, but also also not as suave and uh, and utterly fantastic as the disco church. I think the disco church alone just had this aura about it that made the surrounding area quite fantastic. Uh, but now that it's gone, obviously, uh, the surrounding area has just taken a bit of a dive. Um, I say that. I mean, look at how nice this is. How much is this costing me? Five twenty a day. Holy shit! What about this? Forty and five forty. My God. I mean, it is actually adding to the uh, to the wealth of the area, which is quite nice. What the hell's going on down here? Oh, that's commercial. Okay, fine. There's no demand for uh, any commercial at the moment, uh, but there's lots of demand for. Um, high wealth residential still so maybe we can rezone some of this maybe we can like rezone this area here and what potentially this area here uh, there's no demand so we could probably try to drive up a bit of demand Let, let's do this one too okay fine we're gonna do we're gonna redo these residential residential they i mean the land val value of this area should be very good so we might actually get some high-rise apartments if we get some that look like this one here like sherman plaza or uh oof, look at that Tam and Terracone LLP. I would love a Tam and Terracone LLP building like uh, down here. That would be really, really good. Um, is there anything else that we can add down here to help uh, with the area, the density of the area? Look, it's not quite. It's good for medium wealth, but it's still parts of it are not good for high wealth. We may need to put like another uh, fancy park in here. Look at this one, 120 an hour, small fountain park wonder where we could put this small fountain park. Like, maybe along this avenue here. I mean, this part, this stretch of avenue that stretches down past here is not very useful, actually. Uh, but we'll keep it so that we can actually plop this park right here. Look at that. Holy shit. These people are going to be so impressed. Uh, there's a bus stop there that doesn't need to be there. So I might as well just get rid of that because these people are going to be, like, super rich. So get rid of that. Uh, I think that's, yeah, businesses, houses that don't need it, and businesses 
which probably do need it. And uh, yeah, these are businesses too. Businesses, businesses. Okay, I think the businesses still need bus stops because I think it's mostly uh, high wealth that'll visit them. But just in case there's like low wealth or medium wealth working there, uh, we, we probably still want to have those bus stops there. Uh, what about another one of these small fountain parks? Uh, that that was good last time, actually. Uh, a waterfront small fount fountain park, possibly, to just sort of uh, increase the uh, high wealth aura down to here. It'll probably do it, I would have thought. Should we try? Let's put it here. No, it didn't quite, actually. I was expecting this whole area to fill out, but it didn't. Uh, I wonder if we can add anything to it to, like, or, like, maybe another one. Like, two, side by side. Oh, shit, look at this sort of like a like a cascade of fountain parks i don't know if that's gonna cause problems maybe we can just get rid of maybe we can just do this instead look at this oh yeah that's nice that's real nice okay how did we do with that land value down there then oh okay nice all right great and uh maybe just uh one of these reflecting pools down here along here and I think that'll probably just boost the area up just enough uh, for just tons of ultra-wealthy people to move down here. Fine. Yeah, look at that. We got it. Maximum coverage, pretty much. Uh, we could probably do with extending this uh, park here. God, we're spending so much money on parks. It's, it is worth it, though. I mean, we want to have, like, tons of, like, super, super rich bastards come down here. What's this? A medium sculpture garden. Mm, let's place this here on the other side. There we go. How did that do? Did that uh, do anything for this? Oh, yeah. Okay, perfect. Okay, the coverage is very, very good uh, for uh, high wealth now. Excellent. Perfect. Look at this. Holy shit, look at the size of this thing. My god. Um, is the density going to improve down here? These people are very happy. Uh, all of these people are very happy. Look at this. I think we can just probably check here to see the happiness map. Uh, everyone is happy except for 6M Fine Art Gallery, who still needs workers, apparently. But uh, we're working on that. We're going to try to get these workers in and see uh, if we can sort it out once and for all. Uh, 2000 bucks in the green, uh, which is very nice. Uh, actually, very, very good. Uh, we could probably think about getting these streetcars to alleviate some of the traffic here. My god, the traffic is just getting even worse now. Uh, with 2000 bucks extra an hour though, we can definitely get our, our streetcars set up uh, and help with that. So let's do it. We're going to do it. Streetcars. We're going to go for it. Uh, that's a shuttle bus depot. We want streetcars. Uh, streetcar depot, which is going to only cost us 375 an hour and it's going to be 30 grand a place. That's fine. We got half a million bucks, which is no problem. Uh, of course, we need to upgrade these roads as well, which is going to cost a little bit of money. There we go. High density streetcar avenue. Great. Uh, and this too. There you go. You tried to tried to escape me, but you can't. There's no escape. There's no escaping my eagle eyes. There we go. Uh, all of this. Jesus. I wish you could like highlight all of them and just upgrade them at the same time. Because look at how tedious this is. Holy shit. I've got to go down individually into each of these little squares and upgrade them. <laughs> Good God. All right. I'll do that. And uh, while we do that, hopefully we'll get some research uh, percentage and uh, some more density increase. My god, look at some of these buildings. Holy crap. San Francisco is just fantastic right now. As soon as we get some tourists and landmarks and stuff in here as well, god, people are going to go nuts. It's going to be crazy. All right. Uh, so good connections all around uh, for the streetcars, which is very good. Uh, we'll get these set up. Uh, we get them to start patrolling around and uh, moving people around all over the place, which would be nice. I don't know if they're going to add to the uh, desirability of the area. They might actually uh, bring it down, down here. We'll have to experiment with that and see. Uh, how's that? Is that okay, uh, coverage-wise? I think so. Uh, we probably want to come down here, too, actually. There we go. Look at this. We're almost done with all this upgrading. Holy shit. And uh, there we go. Fine. Uh, great. Okay, so, depot. Finally, we can place our depot. Uh, where do we want to place it? Jesus Christ, there's no room anywhere to place this goddamn thing. Jesus, we might actually have to place it, like, down here. <laughs> oh, Lord. Ah, actually, around here is probably not a bad place to put it. Okay, great. Uh, let's just upgrade this last road, then streetcars, and, and then we can place it. Perfect. Okay, we're going to place it right behind the hospital, down here. Uh, and then if we do want to get a ferry terminal, we can put it uh, in between these two, and that should be fine. Okay, great. Perfect. Petition, uh, petition. Petition to build streetcar stop approved. Great. We can now build streetcar stops and connect up all of these neighborhoods 
with streetcar stops and hopefully uh, get people off the goddamn roads. Holy shit. Uh, let's put one right out front here, uh, out front the uh, bus terminal, or should we have it like here? I think there's still coverage, but we might want to have one right outside the bus terminal. Uh, and then we can have one here too. Uh, and then a couple coming down here, that should be fine. Very good coverage. Look at the coverage. These streetcars, holy shit. These people are gonna love this. Uh, I don't know if this is gonna affect the desirability of the area. We'll have to check in a minute. Uh, we'll just continue to snake our way up here with streetcar stops. Uh, these things cost a little bit of money to place. Uh, and they cost 30 bucks an hour, which is not too bad, actually. That's not bad at all. Okay, fine. Put, place some around here. Get some good coverage. And uh, finally, uh, there as well. <laughs> I don't know what we're going to put in this area. We might just leave it for now and then build it up later. Maybe some parks or, like, maybe a landmark or two. That might be nice, actually. Hey, we got the mayor's mansion. Oh, my God. We actually got the mayor's mansion in San Francisco. Finally. Holy shit. Our approval rating must be over 75% which is very good excellent uh, let's put the sign for this big um, mama jamma out here like on the side here so when people drive down to it they can see it perfect and uh, we'll also need some additional streetcars so that's what three thousand and three hundred bucks an hour no problem we'll get what like three of these there we go. Perfect. We're still in the green. Uh, 1,600 in the green. Uh, we now have streetcars. Uh, what's the average wait time for streetcars? Is it even going to tell us? 31 minutes. It's probably 33 minutes now because we didn't actually have any streetcars for like the longest time. But now look at them. They're out in full force. It's like an army of streetcars. Uh, look at that. It's coming down already. 28 minutes. Perfect. Oh my God. Holy shit, this city is really taking shape. Look at the population, it's just over 40,000. Let's place this mayor's mansion. This is gonna be great. Mayor's mansion, approval rating is like perfect in this city. Uh, do we wanna place it like down here in this like really rich area? Maybe like down, oh, maybe, a, maybe right here. Fuck yeah, holy shit. Place it right here. And then we can uh, just drive down the street and get to the waterfront. That's gonna be nice. We're gonna like totally upgrade it as well. Okay, fine. We knocked down all of that commercial area, but it's fine. Look at this. Oh, look at how happy everybody is. Oh, there's like this huge mayor's mansion. Great. Can we do anything yet? No, nothing. We have to wait. Fine. That's fine. We don't mind waiting. Okay. Excellent. All right. Uh, that's probably a good place to wrap up. Let's, uh, oh my god, I can't even get like a decent view of the city because all of these buildings are so goddamn high. Look at how built up it is. Holy shit. Okay, great. Uh, so we've managed to sort out this waterfront area, which was very good. Uh, how are we doing with our, um, oh my god, what the hell is going on here? <laughs> why, is it, why is it just like stuck in the corner? I can't. <laughs> okay, there, perfect. Uh, how did we do with percentages? Uh, we're up to 23% research for the Space Center. Great work. Excellent. We're going to spend some time in Sipsville probably next episode and try to get some of the resources that we need uh, gathered up uh, and together stockpiled so that we can send them over to the Great Work site. That's going to be fantastic. Uh, we could probably do with increasing uh, density even more in this city and uh, look at maybe getting some tourist attractions in and stuff to make e even more money. That would be fantastic. We want to have a really big population in the city so that we can service the rest of the region. Uh, so that'll be great. Okay, as usual, thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you next time.